So you want to map out your uh, site structure. The easy way to uh, map out and select what keywords you're going to go for. Here's the easy way. The easy way is do a broad match, like you've got your big long list of keywords, do a, um, sorry, an exact match, find out how much competition you've got, um, delete anything over 500,000. Yes, that's a magic number, you might want to write that one down. Um, that's like a ballpark number, and then just go for the highest search, rank it by highest search. So that way you're effectively stripping out all the really competitive stuff and then you're leaving with the highest search stuff and then try and sort down from there. That'll kind of, that's like the easy way to do some basic filtering to figure out on where you're going to target. Now depending on whether or not we're working for, with a client or whether or not we're doing um, something on our uh, own website, uh, if we're working with uh, a client and they've already got a website and we're going in there and doing their SEO for them, we'll map out what their site already looks like and then we'll try and um, match the keywords that just go based on the, whatever the topic of the page is. So we'll try and go, okay, we'll choose, um, I'm trying to think of something off the top of my head, head, head for, let's say for the, for the dentist, root canal. There's a page on root canals and the treatment. We'll go, let's choose that keyword because the page is already about that and it's just an easy match as opposed to creating a page from nothing. If we're creating our own site and we're mapping out the structure from scratch, then that's when I'll draw a diagram like this and I'll do that right from the get-go and I'll, I'll, I'll plan out my, my method of attack. Um, I'll have a quick look maybe just at the two websites, Planet 13 and Melbourne SEO Services. <laughs> 